Hey guys, it's Hetty. Welcome back. And this is my third time recording this voiceover. Yay! First time I forgot to press record. Second time I was the wrong microphone. So fingers crossed this time works. But anyway, in today's video, um, I'm doing the cover art for the sketchbook tour video that I just put up. And a lot of you seem to really like how this piece turned out. And so do I, to be honest, even though it gave me a headache from the fumes. But anyway... Um, drawing this out was a real pain because I just couldn't get the face right. I must have drawn it about five times because I just, I don't know why. I think it's because I've not really done a full piece of artwork for at least two weeks now with the move and everything. So it's just been a bit crazy. And then obviously when you don't draw for a while, you start to lose some of your muscle memory, I guess it is. And you never lose the talent to draw, well, it's a practice talent, it's not like something you're born with, but you don't really lose that because you always remember how to do it, it's just getting back into practicing doing it, it's something, art's something you've got to keep up doing because otherwise you're going to take a few steps back and have to go and practice through it all again. And I think that's what's happened to me is... I've, because I've not really drawn for a few weeks it's really taken an effect on my drawing skills so with this piece I really wanted to just make sure that um, I didn't do too difficult of a composition and the anatomy was fairly simple I mean I did struggle with the hands a little bit as well and I'm still not completely happy with them but it's still a lot better than what I used to draw, so it's not too bad. Um, but, yeah, for some reason, the Sharpies just absolutely wanted to fry my brain. The smell of the dark pink one that I'm using now, and then the yellow one that I'm now using, they're just... I don't even know what it was, but the smell of them was really strong. So it, I had to do this piece in three or four sittings, I think it was, just because I had to take breaks from the smell of the Sharpies. And I've never had that problem before, but this is the biggest Sharpie picture I've done. So Claire from Black Summer, I take my hat off to you for being able to use Sharpies as much as you do on your sketchbook designs because they stink <laughs> and they give you a headache. So. If you've got any tips on how to get through it, then please let me know. You are like the master of Sharpie art to me now. After after doing this, I was just like, whoa. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out, considering the struggles that I've been having with my art in general and stuff like that. It's actually come out a lot better than I thought, and I wanted to use it as a chance to use my silver and gold pens that Christina from Hit Art got me for the Christmas collaboration that we did. Um, because I don't normally use silver and gold a lot in my artwork, which I really wish I did use it a bit more because it would go really well with like the sort of drawings I have to do, especially like my mermaid art. I mean, mermaids, silver, gold, you know, they always seem to go well together, but at least one of them does. But I used the gold for detailing on the tail like to draw the scales in. I kind of wish I did a few more but I just couldn't sit around the piece anymore because it just smelled too bad. Uh, so yeah well anyway I'm really happy with how it came out and then at the end I just went in with my white gel pen and did some little bubbles and just refining some details and stuff. But in terms of the house and moving we are nearly there. I mean we've had birthdays like, my daughter turned one, and my stepdaughter turned 15, so I've had, like, teenage sleepovers, and a one-year-old birthday party times two, because she had one for family and one for other family and friends. So it's, it's like, it's been a madhouse. So we've been getting all downstairs sorted, and I haven't had a chance to get my art area sorted or anything yet. But soon we'll be getting there. And even more good news, which is probably more good news for me, because it, won't, it will affect you, but not too much. I'm finally getting a new internet so it won't take me five hours to upload a video. Yeah, it's just the one we're on at the moment, the internet provider, they are like the worst in our area. And luckily we can get out of our contract with those because we haven't been in it long enough. 
and change. So within the next week or so, we should have new internet provider and faster internet. So yay. As soon as that's all sorted though, then I can start looking at going back up to two videos a week. So I'll keep you updated on that one. But in terms of next week's video, it's the Art Addicts Alliance piece. And I'm super excited for this one because I'm liking the, how my idea is going so far. I've had it. I've got it sketched out mostly, but I'm really excited to see what everyone else does for the theme, which is Circus Freaks, I believe it was. So, yeah. Well, anyway, if you want to see more updates on the um, Art Addicts Alliance, please head on over to our Facebook page, which is linked down below, and everything will be on there. Links to all our videos, the next poll when that comes out for the next month's theme, and, yeah, everything is just going to be on there for it. So please head on over and check that out. But we're at the end of the video now, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for the next video. Bye!